welcome to my channel. So I'm going to jump right into it because I already tried to film this video once and the entire thing was not recorded. So here we go again. I think I was watching Census Fidelium and I heard about how when we need help with some area in our life, that instead of going to the self-help books that are created by fellow creatures, to go to God's divine word, right? To the inspired word of God. Because all the answers are in this book, in this literature library of books that we have. And so, of course, because self-help, I went to the book, to the wisdom books, and I opened up Sirach because I love Sirach. If you have not read Sirach, please, please go read it because there is so much wisdom and so much just basics for our life that are in this book. So I have a couple different um, chapters and verses I want to talk to you about. Okay, so in Sirach chapter 30, verses 14 through 25, you will find health of body and soul. And I want to pull a few different verses out for you. It says, more precious than gold is health and well-being. No treasure greater than a healthy body, no happiness than a joyful heart. And then 25 says, one who is cheerful and gay while at table benefits from his food. And that one in particular really struck me because as someone who's kind of done beach body and, and thought about things like paleo and keto and eating for nutrition and eating for performance, you can get really messed up about food, especially the enjoyment of food. And so right here, it talks about how if you eat joyfully, that it's going to benefit your body. Eating tilapia and asparagus, those are, well, not tilapia, but you know, eating highly dense nutrient-rich food, foods is wonderful, but if you're not enjoying it, it's not benefiting you. You're not actually feeling satisfied from your meals. And I do want to pop in here and suggest the book Intuitive Eating, and I'll link it down below, but it's a really good book. It's actually to help people get over disordered eatings and eating disorders, but it's this idea of eating the way we were meant to, the way God wants us to eat. If you want a piece of bread, eat a piece of bread. You know, if you want some chocolate, eat some chocolate. But I'm gonna get into the next chapter in chapter 31, where there's some more wisdom when it comes to food. So chapter, Sirach 31, chapter 12 through 31, talks about table etiquette. And this is a great, this is a great section of the Bible to read. Just, it's just interesting hearing about how to behave at table and it's still so relevant today. Even though sadly we don't have as many big gatherings um, and fam fam familial meals as we used to. But it says in, in verse 19 and 20, Does not a little suffice for a well-bred man? When he lies down, it is without discomfort. Distress and anguish and loss of sleep and restless tossing for the glutton. Moderate eating ensures sound slumber and a clear mind next day on rising. We've all been there where we overindulge we have too many cookies or treats during Christmas time or another holiday or you know we go out to dinner and it's like we kind of do this feast or famine thing where we're like I don't know when I'm gonna get this this great of a meal again so you overindulge or you have too much alcohol and you know you wake up just sluggish and bloated and you have a headache and so right here in Holy Scripture it's telling you how to eat and we have all this information about food and Weight Watchers and diets and we get so disordered and so away from the way God intended us to enjoy food. We are supposed to sit down with other people and have a meal and it be joyful and lovely. And I have to say that the book Eat Once, um, Cook Once, Eat All Week, that's been really helpful because I had three big, you know, meals that felt good, that fed us, that had, you know, all the different food groups represented and it felt like, well, here's a meal. And this is some not just picking at food. This is not just having some asparagus and some chicken, but this is really creating a dish that can be enjoyed by my family. And it was just lovely. Again, go read the rock. I can't, the wisdom books are so amazing. And I just, it's so, so good. And it touches so many different parts 
of your life. Let me know if this is helpful. I feel like I rambled a bit, but I just, it was on my heart after reading last night. And like I said, I, I already filmed this once and I wanted to try to get it out there. God bless. Have a very beautiful day. Let me know in the comments what you think. And remember to know God, love God, and do God's will. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.